I know y'all, I know some of the people over there at the, uh, at the uh, campaign watch, uh, you, the, the backup that you pick and I, and I know you're going to think about it all a lot, but, uh, believe me, Stefanik, because I've been seeing that name being thrown up and I saw her interview on, um, NBC yesterday and, uh, she, I mean, I've never trusted her. <laughs> And, and I know, please don't know. don't play any games. Right. Don't don't make don't don't narrow it down to it has to be a woman. Right. It has to be this and it has to don't do that at all. For, please don't do that. Right. You see what had happened to Harvard over it. Don't do it. You know, get well, out there and, and pick the best person. And I mean, not to go morbid on it, but we've talked on this show about what could potentially happen with Trump if you know, either before the election or after, and he is older. So Whoever takes that job, you know, it's got to be somebody that Maggot's going to feel good if something were to happen that he could take over. I mean, and they got to love America as much as you and I do. Right. Yeah. Here's a great. Well, a, again, and if you go back to uh, Stefani and videos are great. YouTube video is forever, man. Uh, they played a video of her calling out um, Trump supporters on January 6th. And she pivoted. A lot of them did that. Exactly. A lot of them. Exactly. And all, that's all why, your radio heroes, man. Exactly. And that's why I'm like, you know what? I don't. I mean, honestly, I put out. Um, I put out a post over the weekend. Our side has gotten to the point where uh, I don't know whether it's weakness, laziness, or what. But our side has gotten to the point that uh, the people that sabotage or tried to do Donald Trump wrong or, or and whatnot, most of them lost their jobs or most of them, their careers got hurt. They've turned around and now they're trying to get back into things. TV is a powerful drug, okay? That position of being on TV is a powerful drug. You need your audience. Well, some of these people need their audiences. They live for that, okay? They have to... They they can't function in regular life. They're so introvert. That's probably why they never go anywhere. They just sit in front of a camera for three hours and talk. But in in that case, I'm like, wait a minute. Well, I mean, I'm short. Sure, I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, Jay, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, so. I, I mean, I think the the issue is, is that people still live in a reality that the Republican Party and MAGA Party are the same party, and they're not. And the establishment Republicans that never wanted to support President Trump, they never did. Yeah, Susie's right. Um, so if you look at your establishment, your corporate Republicans, you know, and we, we share the list every time somebody votes for something stupid in the House or like Mike Johnson with this spending bill we're going to talk about here in a bit. I mean, those guys, that's not our Republican party or not our wing of it like <laughs> mega is different i'm seeing gnome hutch i'm seeing gnome i i saw a video over the you weekend know, when somebody says something like that what do you know about her well it was a video that came out where she was caught where she was talking about Haley, and she was talking about desantis but when she brought up desantis she was like well yeah i mean you know he, he closed his beaches and he closed his restaurant so did gnome <laughs> There, well, there's she, these big myths about these people that were so good in COVID. No one wasn't any better than anybody else. Well, and I think too with Nome, I mean, she's been a decent governor in a small, unpopulated state. How many people out there? 124? Right. Yeah. I mean, give me somebody battle tested. Like Matt Gates. <laughs> Matt Gates has been battle tested. Christy you know Nome I mean? is, is John Thune. They're both owned by big agriculture because that's all that's in their state. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I don't know. It'll be curious. I just really pray that Donald Trump doesn't pick some some stiff. I mean, like Byron Donalds, Wesley Hunt. I mean, I wanna, Hunt's still too new, but. I want to see him come in and pick somebody that can fight. Clay Higgins? With, with their hands. Not, oh, not hey. I don't want some little frail. I want somebody big that can come in there and kick the door down. Yep. Yeah, I mean, and hopefully I... Man, can you imagine Clay Higgins as oh, DOJ? Can you imagine Attorney him General? Being, is he a lawyer? Well, he's a law enforcement. Guy. If he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't need to be a lawyer. He could be an exactly. FBI director. 
Right. Exactly. And, and, and believe me, I, you know what? Honestly, President Trump, I would trust Clay Higgins' decisions of picking the right people more than I trust anybody oh, right oh, now. Oh. Make, make Clay Higgins your chief of staff. Oh, Let him be in charge of the door. Right. 